Hi, my name is Fiona Martin. Welcome to my channel. I'm an industrial psychologist and career coach. So what I'm going to do in today's video is just to talk about some of the causes and reasons that the job search can really induce stress, anxiety and depression. And next week I will address how you as a job seeker can deal and hopefully overcome some of those issues. So number one, I think probably the biggest frustration and cause of anxiety during the job search is lack of feedback or not hearing back on your applications, right? So you literally can sit and make almost a hundred applications and have complete and utter radio silence that's coming from employers. It causes panic because I think many people start to wonder why is it that no one is getting back to me? And unfortunately, we do have a culture in the recruitment industry where people just don't get back to you. So you don't know, is it my application? Is anyone even reading this? So I think the speculation around why we're not getting any feedback on our applications really can cause anxiety because you don't know what is it that I'm supposed to be working on. And many of us, even after you've attended multiple interviews, very seldom get to hear why you didn't make it. I always say to job seekers, you know, if you're actually getting some callbacks, if you're getting some interviews, you're one of the fortunate few because some people can literally go for months. You know, I've even spoken to people who for an entire year, they do not hear even a single thing. No callback, no queries absolutely nothing on their job applications. Number two, and I think a very difficult one to deal with is a sense of rejection, right? And either you get ghosted. So after a while of not hearing back, you basically figure out on your own that this job has either been filled or they've gone with someone else. And also where you've actually gone for an interview or where you've made an application and then you get that really depressing, we regret to inform you that you have not been successful for this position. And I know that um, many of us find it very difficult to not take that personally. So having to go through multiple numerous rejections is not something that is easy, I think, for anyone in life, right? Whether it's rejection in our personal relationships with family members and as a job seeker, we experience that all the time. So even being ghosted is a form of rejection, right? Because the employer does not even have the courtesy to tell you whether you've been successful or not and you're sort of left to figure out on your own what the outcome is and many times i think we just learn to move on after trying multiple times to do follow-ups and not hearing back now the last point i'm going to deal with today and i think probably a really deep-seated one is many times during our job search and especially if you are not employed or getting a source of income is that being unemployed and also at the same time being unsuccessful in the job search can really impact on your sense of self-worth right because many of us actually find our identity and form of worth within our careers right and that's something that should not be undermined so particularly for individuals who find themselves out of work or out of employment for extended periods they start to feel more and more that they cannot or they are not a contributing member to society. It's really feeling that you've let your family down. Perhaps you've got children or people that rely on your income for support. Not being able to become the provider that you want to be can really have an impact around your identity and self-worth. The three things that I've touched on in this video uh, around what are some of the key aggravators that cause job seekers to find themselves despondent during the job search. So number one, it's not getting any feedback whatsoever around your applications and therefore not actually knowing where is it that I'm going wrong and how should I improve. Number two is the constant rejection that we have to deal with, right? Either through emails or even, you know, after attending an interview. And lastly, particularly where you're on the job market and are currently unemployed, it has an impact on our self-worth, especially if your career has been a strong part of your identity and a place where you find meaning. Now stay tuned because next week I'm going to talk about how do you actually deal with those uh, points of anxiety and what should you be doing. But I think most importantly, uh, while we wait for next video, take care of yourself and realize that you are not alone. What I've just described is what probably most job seekers have experienced or some point to another. Thank you. I'll see you next week.